Hello friends, in this session we will discuss how to find height or maximum depth of a given binary tree. What is binary tree? Binary tree is a tree in which a node can have at most two nodes. Let's take this example. This is a binary tree. If you look into the tree, any node you take it have minimum of zero nodes, maximum of two nodes. So this is called binary tree. Now, what is height of a tree? So height of a tree can be defined as number of edges in longest path from root node to leaf node. So this is root node and what is leaf node? A leaf node is defined as a node whose left and right node references are null. In this case, 4, 5, 8, 9, 7 are called as leaf nodes. The topest node is called root node. So this is root node. Number 1 is root node. What is edge? An edge is an arrow which connects two nodes. So this is an edge. Now what is height of a tree? The longest path from root to leaf node. In between that number of edges. Define height. So in this tree from root what is longest path? From node 1 to either node 8 or node 9. Now let's calculate number of edges between them. So 1, 2, 3. So now we can say height of a tree is 3. Now we can measure height of a given node at any point of time. So what is height of this node here? From this given node, the longest path to leaf node. So in this case, 1, 2. The height is 2 for this, for this given node. Now let's take this tree as an example. What is height of this tree? So the number of edges between root and leaf node, the longest path, there is only 1. So height of this node is 1. So let's take there is only one node that's a root node. What is height of this specific tree? 0 because the root itself acting as leaf node and it does not have any left or right nodes. So there is no edges that's why height is 0. So now what is depth? How does maximum depth related to height of a tree. Depth is called as number of edges in the longest path from root node to given node. Let's say I want to find depth of this node. From root node to this node in this path how many edges you have? Only one only this edge is there. So you will say depth as 1. Let's say what is depth of this specific node, node number 4. So number of edges from root to given node is 1, 2. So depth is called as 2. What is this specific leaf node's depth? So 1, 2. So depth is 2. Now the longest path leaf node. Let's calculate depth of this leaf, this node. So here from root 1, 2, 3. Depth is 3. Here we all already calculated height. So now based on this calculation, based on the example we have seen, a height of a tree is equals to maximum depth of a tree. 
let's define height of a tree is equals to max depth of a tree so given tree how can we identify or how can we build an algorithm to identify height so given root first we will identify height for left node and then we'll identify height for right node in this case height of left node is 1 there is only one edge in this case height of right node is 2 because there are two edges 1 2 now we'll use maximum function to identify maximum height between right and left nodes here the maximum value is 2 since height is calculated from root to leaf node we didn't consider this specific edge so let's add let's count this so plus 1 is 3 which is height of a tree now how can we calculate height of this specific node the same logic we need to identify height of its left node height of its right node take maximum of it and do plus 1 which gives this node node number 3 height we will use recursion to build our algorithm let's write a simple pseudocode here the method name is height so in this first we will calculate left node height and then we will calculate right node height and we'll take maximum of it and do plus one this one we will return in recursion what is our exit condition when it reaches to the leaf node we need to exit what is leaf nodes height zero so can we say return zero if it reaches leaf node does it work let's calculate here so let's say it reached leaf node it return zero and zero plus one what happens it is one is it really correct the leaf node height is written as one because we are adding extra plus one here in order to nullify this rather returning zero we will return minus one here this will nullify the addition of plus one for leaf nodes now let's write a code i have already created a class called height of binary tree in order to save some time i copied some of the reusable code from my previous example here is an inner class called node we have a private reference node reference called root we will store our root node in this variable we'll use binary search tree and during our testing when we write mind method we need to construct tree so insert methods are required so i just created and uh, i'm not going to explain this this is out of scope for this example right now i covered this concept in previous video i'll share it in the description now let's write a method to find height now it returns int which is height of a given node now the method name is find node height which takes a node as an input first identify right node height right node height equal to we need to use recursion call the same function and pass node dot right now similarly we need to identify left node height so let's modify left node height is equal to call the same function recursively and pass 
left node ref friend now identify maximum of these two values right node height and left node height and as discussed plus one now let's return this value because this is height of a node now what is our exit condition when it reaches leaf node that means and when we send from leaf node when we send left or right node references for any given left or right node sorry uh, for any given leaf node its left or right references are null so check for node double equal to null return minus one this is what we discussed now this function takes node as an input and we need to pass root node so i'll make this as a private and i'll write a public method which returns height find tree height it takes nothing as an input but internally it calls this method or private method and passes root node as a reference now i have already copied a main method from previous example we will consider this tree to get output so the same numbers i have fed into my input tree which is in main method in this case the height is 3 when we run the program we should get height as 3 now let's call the method bst dot find height and print the value system dot out dot println height of a tree is let's copy this we'll run this and we expect height of this tree should be 3 as expected height of the tree is 3 thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel